Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to show you how to make a very simple password protection. This is called a single page protect. Now, this is a very simple process, and we're going to use one of the login tools over here in the toolbox. We're not going to create a members area or any kind of a complicated login. Um, you can make those with these login tools. You can create quite an extensive and elaborate uh, members area or a login protected area where people can create usernames and passwords and recover their password and, and get into an area of your website that's all protected. We're not going to do that in this video. I'm going to show you something that's very simple. Sometimes there just comes a time when you just want to protect a single page and have it be password protected. Or you can even protect multiple pages the same way. But it's a very simple process and it is called single page protect. So let me show you in this example. I have a website here called .com Classroom and I've created a page that I want to password protect. I'm going to move the camera over to the site manager so you can see that I've created a page called private. In other words, private access. Okay, So I'm going to double click on this and bring that page up in my canvas over here. So here you see now we're working with the private page. Now this is all you have to do. It's so simple. It's amazing. So I'm clicking on this tool here called Single Page Protect. It's the only tool I'm going to have to use. And just draw a box anywhere actually on the canvas and you can see that it gives me a little lock. Now this lock is not going to be seen by anyone. And so it doesn't matter where you put it, if you want to put it up the top for your own sake or off the uh, edge of the page or whatever you want to do. Just put it somewhere on the page. It doesn't matter. Double click on it to open up the properties so you can set the properties for this page. Now, all you need to do is decide on a password, and this is the password everyone would use to get to this page. See, this is just a simple password protection. It's not, a, like I said, it's not a members area where everyone has their own login. This is just a simple way to protect a page, and this is a password you would share with only those people who you want to have access to this page. Now, by default, the password is password, which of course is a terrible password, so you're going to want to change that. Just for this demonstration, let's just call it password123, which is also a terrible password, by the way. You want to do something better than that. Then, to be honest, that's all you have to do. We're going to use the protection method called PHP. Now, there are other protection methods. I'm going to recommend, though, that 99% of the time you use PHP. It's going to be the best protection. It's going to be the safest. However, 90 second website builder is capable of other kinds of scripting. And if you want to learn more about JavaScript protection or this HTTP authentication, you can look in the help file and read about it. But for the most part, PHP is the simplest and the best. And all we need to provide is a password, which we've just done right here. So once we click OK, this is done. This page will now be protected. However, I have one more step. Because I'm using PHP, I have to make sure this is a PHP page. So you right click on it, go to Page Properties. I've actually already done this, but I'll show you what I did. And I changed the file extension for this page to PHP. It was HTML, but we want to change it to PHP because we're using a PHP object. It's that simple. Okay, so that's really easy. Making a password is really easy. So now what do we do? Well, in order to check this out, we need to publish it. This is not something you can do offline. So I'm going to actually publish this page. So I'm going to go up here to publish. And I'm actually just going to publish this one page. This website's already online. So I'm just going to publish my update, which is just this page. Rather than the entire site, I'm going to publish the selected page. That's the one that I'm working on here. Or I could also publish the page is currently opened, then that would publish the index and the private. But anyway, just the selected page. And um, I don't need to publish all the files for this page because that means all of the image files as well. I didn't change any images. I only changed the code. So I'm going to publish the HTML only, the code. And so that'll make it publish very quickly. So when we go publish, it'll tell me it just is connecting and now it's done. Okay, so basically just republish this one page. And um, let's go look at it. If I click on this link and I go to the website, it actually took me right to the page that I published. And look what it did. This page is password protected. In fact, let me show you what's happening here. I'm going to get rid of this. Let's go back to the main index page online. So here we are online. If I was to go to that page called private.php, it takes me to this protection. And I have to actually type in the password we created. One, two, three. Click login. And now I'm on my protected page. That's how easy it is. So this is something that you would use in a simple application of protecting one page. If I wanted to protect another page on this website, I would just put this same lock on any other page I want. 
And here's the good news. Once someone logs into or gets past the password protection on that one page, as long as they stay on your website, they can go to the other password protected pages without retyping the password. Because of PHP, it remembers their session, it's called. And so people can traverse from page to page, even the protected pages, once they provide that password. So you can see it's very, very simple. Again, this is not to replace uh, those times when you're trying to create a membership area or a, a more elaborate login protected area. In that case, you're going to want to protect the entire contents of a folder. You're going to want to use the uh, uh, the admin tools, the edit profile tools, and all these other login tools, password protect, password recovery tools, all of these other tools can create a login area. All we're doing here is using just one of these tools, the single page protect, to do something as simple as protect a page on your website. So hopefully that will help you as you're making your websites more secure and creating private pages for your websites in 90 Second Website Builder.